So did you tune in during the Super Bowl this year? I guess armies had a mixed opinion for this year's playoffs because aside from the fact that Super Bowl basically snubbed BTS, fans can't comprehend what's taking it so long for the boys to be invited to perform during the halftime. And if you think armies are just being sensitive, let me tell you even important people in the industry are thinking the same thing. Well, in case you want to know how the Super Bowl decided to let the one in a million chance to have the boys perform for them slip away, keep watching because I will tell you about the real tea about the issue. Okay, let's get started. We all know how the Super Bowl is one of the largest sporting events held annually since it's basically a World Cup counterpart when it comes to a number of audiences tuning in every playoff. Aside from the teams and games though, one of the main highlights of the event is the halftime performance. It's so popular only artists who are deemed to have made an impact to the American music scene can perform. So it's basically a stage where only people who are considered worthy enough can perform so you can say that it will mean a lot if you get selected. Even getting waitlisted in the lineup is already a recognition so it's really a tedious process of selecting. You can even say that it's like sorting the best of the best. Even Suga knows how big of a deal the halftime performance is. The rapper actually shared how he hopes BTS can finally conquer the Super Bowl. And since they've sold out countless concerts, it seems like Suga decided it's time to perform on stage, which is entirely on a different level. Yes, performing for sold out concerts one after another is amazing, but having a spot for the halftime during the Super Bowl is the ultimate stage every artist dreams about. However, the Super Bowl decided to ditch the boys, but somehow promised that BTS will still appear during the commercial break by giving them an ad spot, which isn't that bad because when most ads last for 30 seconds max, the boys' Samsung campaign lasted for almost two minutes tops, but at the end of the day, it isn't the halftime performance fans are dreaming of. Of course, ARMY sat all through the playoffs to watch a glimpse of the boys to only be more disappointed because after approximately four hours of waiting, BTS never appeared. In case you were wondering why clown pictures flooded Twitter during the Super Bowl, well, it's because armies felt clowned after the playoffs. You can guess how frustrating it was since mo most fans only tuned into the event because of the BTS Samsung ad, which never really made an official debut on television. This Twitter user went all out and made a thread in Twitter and you can totally see how her excitement died down and ended up in disappointment. Just like thousands of ARMY who watched football for the first time only to wish they never turned on the TV at all. Even Forbes made an article about how BTS should be performing this year since they checked off all the requirements to be chosen and included in the lineup. The only takeaway from the ad spot was the fact Suga became the first solo Korean artist to have his song played at the Super Bowl since Yoongi's Over the Horizon was used in the advertisement. However, we can see the boys grace the Super Bowl halftime next year. Let's cross our fingers to that. How about you? Did you also wait for the boys during game day? Let us know how you feel in the comments below. Also, make sure you give this video a like and stay tuned for more. See you next time.